Hello everyone! Welcome! It is finally time to kickstart this year's live streamed grand finale of Jib's Entrepreneurship Challenge 2021. My name is Elvira and my name is Tindra and we are the product managers for Entrepreneurship Academy. And we will also be your hosts during this exciting prize ceremony to announce the winners of this year's competition. Yes, an e-challenge is a 24-hour challenge for students at Jönköping University to solve a real-life case from an inspiring company. And by doing so, giving a new perspective uh, that the company has been facing. And every challenge has a new and interesting theme and what's guaranteed are even more interesting and innovative solutions. And this year's case company is none less than IKEA. A worldwide company that has always been in the forefront of innovation and creative solutions. Later during this live stream, they will explain their case and theme for this year. And after that, we will show you this year's top six, six best solutions. But first, let's hear Jarke Mudesson, the Dean and Managing Director of JIBS, to give his perspective on the, of the challenge. And after that, Sven Rudell, board member of Axia Stinsel, will illuminate the local connection to Jan Schöping. Both of them are part of the grand jury this year and will also be seen later during this evening to say some of the winners. But now they will explain a little more about the history of e-challenge and the importance of Jibs being a part of it. We're proud to organize the 10th edition of Jibs Entrepreneurship Challenge. This event is made possible by a donation from Lennart Isarsson, also known as Aktie Stinsen. Lennart Isarsson lived in Nässjö and worked all his life at the railroads. Alongside his job, he became interested in the stock market. With an initial investment of 6 euros, he built a fortune of approximately 15 million euros. He never went to the university himself, but he was a strong believer in higher education. And that is the reason why he donated large sums of money to student scholarships, research, and events such as Jib's Entrepreneurship Challenge. He died in 2017, 101 uh, years old. And thanks to his donation, we can celebrate the entrepreneurial spirit among our students every year with Jib's Entrepreneurship Challenge. The purpose with the challenge is to inspire our students to recognize and realize their entrepreneurial capabilities. The challenge is organized very much in line with the basic pedagogical approach we apply at Jib's. First, we always want our students to combine theory and practice. We want our students to uh, get an opportunity to practice their, uh, the, the knowledge they learn in the classroom on a real-world case with a real, uh, world, real company. And this year's challenge is presented by IKEA. Also, we design our education so the students get opportunities to practice how to run projects and to work in teams. <coughs> In, and especially in teams in combining um, different cultural backgrounds, uh, different experiences and different knowledge bases. And that is the reason why uh, teams all in the, in the Entrepreneurship Challenge always is uh, composed by members from different schools. Uh, we think in addition to the learning experience, we think of this Entrepreneurship Challenge as an activity that contributes to entrepreneurship in society. Yeah, and I'm really happy to be a proud member of the board in the Axis Stinson as well as a part of the jury that will uh, handle this challenge. Uh, I think it's for the third time actually I'm a part of this, uh, this jury. Jan Shopping has been a natural place for doing business uh, almost since 1284 when the king founded Jan Shopping just in the shore of, of Vetten. And I think that the connection today between the students and, and the society when we talk about the entrepreneurial traditions, that's really a nice thing. And this challenge really contributes to the connection between society, students and entrepreneurship in a good way. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see the, all the results in just a couple of minutes and I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you, Jerke and Sven, for that. As Jerke said, each challenge for sure is a great opportunity to gain insights in, by using knowledge and from previous courses and other experience and really putting it into practice. But there are more factors to become successful in this challenge. True. Uh, in previous years, the contestants have said that diversity within a team is the major key. And a team cannot succeed with only creative people, but strategic and innovative uh, traits are crucial in a team's makeup. And in order to get both the economical and technological perspective, each team must contain members from or students from each school. 
both from GIPS, the economical, and GTH, the technological school. So, by taking on this challenge, the students sure get insights and knowledge and all that, but they can also get quite a lot of money. Oh, yes. Based on donations from Axis Tinsen, the prize pool is, to say the least, very generous. The winning team will receive 60,000 Swedish kroners in cash, the runner-up 40,000 and the third place will receive 20,000. And also, in more recent years, there is also an additional prize for delivering the best pitch. And this prize is sponsored by Science Park. Unbelievable! And from a contestant perspective, there are 24 stressful hours where you really have to put your heads together within the team to get a solution that you all like. It is said that you cannot force creativity, but here you don't have a choice. So, now you know a little bit more about e-challenge, but what is this year's case then? Let's hear what IKEA has to say. Hello everyone and very welcome to the Jibs Entrepreneurship Challenge of this year 2021. And this year it is IKEA who has given you the challenge. My name is Christina Nimvela-Ström and I work as IKEA Supply Sustainability Manager. And IKEA's vision is, as you know, to provide a better everyday life for the many people. And with the many people, we do not only mean our customers, we also mean all the people involved in our supply chains. Today we have around 1,000 direct uh, home furnishing suppliers and many, many more sub suppliers, of course. And we're also integrating more to have the social entrepreneurs also involved in our supply chain. We have since 2012 worked with this uh, program and we developed already to around 20 to 30,000 jobs. And now it's our uh, challenge and our wish to increase this to almost 100,000 by 2025. So how can IKEA integrate the social entrepreneurship into our normal value chains to get this to happen? So it means what kind of business model are we going to use for the future to make this happen? That is what we uh, are asking you and where we like to tap into your creative minds, your thoughts and uh, your possibil possibilities that you see. And maybe you have it during this work been actually working together with your colleagues really well. You've been leading by example. You've been finding better ways and you have also get things done. And that we will see them now in the pitches. What I just mentioned here, that is our culture commitment in IKEA. And that is the way we try to work and lead in everything we do. So now we're really uh, in yeah excited to see what you have come up with. So we're looking forward to, to the last pitches here. And I hope that you all have learned something and had fun and got closer to each other and tapped into each other's experiences uh, during this work. Thank you so much for taking part. Now let's see what you have for us. Oh, it's quite a task. How would you solve this, Alina? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I have no idea. Me neither. No. For the contestants, <laughs> there have the officially the case was officially opened 9 a.m. yesterday, and this morning, 24 hours later, all the teams have sent in their final pitch. So there has for sure been some pressure for the teams, and some of them stayed all night and all morning working with their solutions. Yes, and some of the teams have been working with close friends, but many of the contestants have actually been working with complete strangers. Yes, since all team has to consist with one from Yibs and one from ATH, getting students from each school has actually been an issue to many of the teams. Yes, since this year there hasn't been so much mingling and ACA or Jubal nor other events that are bringing the students together. Uh, and many people don't know students from other schools. Uh, and therefore there have been many teams formed via Facebook or matchmaked by us in the Entrepreneurship Academy team. Yeah, so a lot of teams actually met for the first time yesterday. Yes, and I can imagine working so intense with a group of new faces, that must be really hard. But <laughs> Maybe it helped the creativity too? Well, we will see about that now. Because it's finally time to, to show you this year's top six pitches. The original pitches are five minutes long, but they also recorded a 45 second pitch so that you can get an insight into their idea. Yes, and so here you go. This year's top six.
What if I told you that 25,000 people die every day from starvation? We're here to tell you about Triple Botnat, an initiative where IKEA will help end hunger, save the environment and create job opportunities, all while maintaining profits. With Project Triple Botnat, IKEA will partner up with social businesses who will start harvesting corn in developing countries in Malaysia. The corn will be sold and partly donated to people in hunger. The leftover husks from the plants will be recycled into paper bags that are bought by IKEA and used by its customers. With IKEA already being present in these countries, there will be low initial investment cost as we can take advantage of the supply chain already in place. The job opportunities created from the cornfields and the environmentally friendly bags will, just like IKEA's vision states, create a better everyday life for the many people. Now, looking at the current situations from all these different countries, for instance, it is evident that there is an abundance of social entrepreneurs all over the world. These untapped potential suppliers can be IKEA's future partners. Thus, in order to accomplish IKEA's vision to balance economic growth with positive social impact, we propose an inclusive platform that will integrate IKEA's competences in delivering social entrepreneurship while providing equal and fair opportunity for vulnerable and marginalized social entrepreneurs around the world. The future is digital, so we believe that our digital solution will shape the future of IKEA and strengthen the impact of IKEA's work based on the core vision of the organization. IKEA wants to create a positive impact on society through social entrepreneurship, while customers are increasingly looking for ethical products with unique or handmade quality. However, the process of finding suitable partners is very time consuming. We are introducing IKEA as a stable marketplace. Thereby, IKEA offers a holistic platform for sustainable products and empowers social businesses by connecting them with customers looking for handcrafted and ethical products all around the world while giving social businesses access to a global market and increasing their revenues ikea also profits from a larger design input and increased opportunities to find future partners and suppliers and finally the customers can buy a broader range of unique and ethical products we create a better everyday life for the many people The Social Relief Program is a new initiative by IKEA that aims to provide small and medium-sized manufacturers in developing countries with the needed guidance, support and low-interest loans. The goal is to accelerate the participants' transition into more sustainable business practices that align with the IKEA values and allow their potential integration into the IKEA supply chain. In this way, we're supporting IKEA's social entrepreneurship aims to increase the number of jobs created from 30,000 to 95,000 by 2025. Essentially, we're transforming a potential supplier into a social business partner, while simultaneously providing job opportunities for the marginalized groups. But, Fanny, what is the next step for IKEA? The next step for IKEA is IKEA Connect. It is a multifunctional platform that connects uh, suppliers, social entrepreneurs, and charities in a much more efficient way than before. And they connect based on their needs and their current resources. But we also need to educate more people. And this is where IKEA Academy comes into the picture. It is the educational sub-function in the platform where IKEA can share their knowledge with other corporations. In that way, they become a role model for others and can include more people in the process of creating a better life for the, other, uh, for the more people. Hi everybody, we are team number 15 and are here to present our solutions for IKEA. Hope you will enjoy it! To fight world poverty, the process of social entrepreneurship needs to be improved. Our solution is GRO a program that streamlines and strengthens the effects of IKEA's existing matching process, while at the same time raising the level of education of entrepreneurship in vulnerable areas. And these education programs are reached by social entrepreneurs by filling in standardized forms, measured against KPIs, creating the database, which is the heart of our ID. Through the database, IKEA can partner up with prepared sharp and scalable social businesses who fulfills their expectations. 
Yeah, and so through a combination of an education program and a database full of potential social entrepreneurs, Grow is fighting world poverty. By finding suitable partners through the database, IKEA helps on the journey to more jobs for women and groups in vulnerable areas. In a smart way. This is what we call creating a better everyday life for the many people. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, how amazing and interesting are all these solutions from the team. It would have been really nice to watch all 15 of them. However, a pre-jury have selected their six favorites, which are here via Zoom. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time to invite Linda Paulson from Science Park to let us know which team will be awarded with the best pitch this year and also 10,000 kroners. Hi, Linda. Hi. Was it difficult to select the winner? Well, it's, uh, it has been a great afternoon uh, watching all these uh, six uh, pitches. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, uh, it's been a really struggle to yeah. both choose the best ID and the best pitch. Yeah. Both because they are pretty similar, some of them, and some of them are totally different. Uh, yeah, it's been a hard time. Okay, so interesting now to hear yeah. which will be the winner of the best pitch. Mm. And uh, just so you know, in the audience, we have been judging the five minute pitches. So this one that you uh, right uh, looking on uh, the 45 seconds or? Yes. Yeah, uh, wasn't the ones that we were judging. Um, but the nomination, the, the motivation is the winner of this year's best pitch in Jib's Entrepreneurship Challenge 2021 goes to a pitch where the team clearly show their commitment to the challenge in both the content and the design of the pitch. With a creative performance, they captured the jury's interest when they took us on a virtual tour through a potential supply chain solution. Without a doubt, a great pitch. And the winner is... Team 11, IKEA Connect. <laughs> Congratulations to the best pitch. Very well done. Why do you think that you stood out this year? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you think that you stood out this year? <laughs> A lot of excitement. Sorry? Why do you think that you stood out this year? Uh, uh, no clue at all. <laughs> No, but we wanted to like tell a story through the pitch so you could like follow both our like ideas of how we came up with that uh, the solution and like following the IKEA like core values and everything. So we tried to take you on a journey and yeah, yeah. really think like outside the box and try to make it as understandable as possible while at the same time keeping the, the interest for the subject as high as possible. And yeah. <laughs> well, you did it very well. Yes. <laughs> and what was the best part about being in the competition? Oh, it, oh, so many different things. <laughs> um, the best thing or the hardest thing? Yeah. Okay, but well, great work, obviously. Oh, this yeah. is, like the best thing. Uh, the best or the we worst? <laughs> Oh, the best or the worst? Okay, the best was um, that like coming up with ideas together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Together as a yeah. Team, like finding out and like researching, knowing about like IKEA's journey, like getting to know details that you didn't know before. Yeah, and like and that the subject was really broad. We think yeah. now it's like it's it's more difficult, but it's also a really like opportunity to think outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going from like hundred ideas to finally deciding on one yeah. yeah so that was fun oh. i would say yeah yeah no worst thing <laughs> <laughs> okay but thank you so much thank and you. congratulations thank you. thank you we will now continue to the next awards and here to present the third place is jarker Murison. jarker what have been your thoughts of the ideas from the teams 
Um, well, I'm always, every year, I'm equally amazed by, uh, by the creativity uh, the team shows and especially taking into account that they only have 24 hours. Mm. Um, and this year, I mean, the challenge was really tough. Yeah. It was a broad challenge, very uh, uh, general, not connected to a specific uh, product or, uh, I mean, open for a lot of, of different, um, uh, different ideas, different angles. Mm -hmm. uh, and we could see some similarities. Um, uh, you, you saw the short versions of the pictures, we saw those that were five minutes. And what we look into, I mean, we, we try to, it's, it's easy to, uh, to sort of focus only on the pictures and the presentation skills, but we really try to, to disconnect from that and uh, grade uh, the pictures or the presentations without taking the, the pictures really into consideration. We look into relevance, we look into creativity, we look into feasibility. Mm. And uh, of course, it's about thinking outside the box, being creative, but also sufficiently inside the box, uh, coming up with something which is realizable. Mm. Uh, and I think this year's um, ideas, this year's uh, solutions or uh, propositions uh, were really um, uh, using, I mean, I IKEA is a good case because everyone knows about IKEA, mm. everyone has some kind of relation to it. And it's also such a, a big company, a, a big global actor that can, everyone knows that IKEA is one of those actors that can make a difference. Mm. So what we could see uh, those, those uh, propos uh, proposals this year uh, used that force, I mean, they, they, they took, took advantage of that force of, of IKEA as a company, trying to sort of um, use IKEA as uh, an actor that can make a difference beyond its own uh, business, so to say, mm. uh, being a social actor. Uh, and that was, uh, I think it was very, very uh, re refreshing ideas and very mm. convincing ideas. Um, quite similar, some of them as you saw, mm. which maybe also s tells us that uh, they have taken the sort of uh, feasibility into account, not only thinking about creativity, but also feasibility, that this should be realizable. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Oh, as, oh, as every year, this is the fifth, fifth year I'm in this jury. I mean, yeah. every year I'm surprised and amazed <laughs> by, by the high quality. Yeah. And I'm also amazed by the high quality of the, uh, the sort of films they, they might, last year mm, was the yeah. same. We had this COVID situation even then, mm. and then they had to make the, the, those films. I wonder how it had looked like if we, working at uh, the business school, should have made those films. Uh, <laughs> much lower quality, I, I guess. Okay, but so. we are now eager to hear. Which mm -hmm. will receive the third place and go home with 20,000 crowns mm -hmm. As we call it, the, the second runner-up. Yeah. Um, uh, I start with the motivation. Mm -hmm. The idea is a large scale and creative, transcending the borders of business and society. It integrates a multitude of stakeholders in one single project. And um, the second runner up is. Team number eight. The Social <laughs> Relief <laughs> Programme. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Are you the representative of your group? Yes. Yes. Uh, due to the corona, we're in separate places. Oh, oh okay. right. But yeah. how did you come up with this solution? So we were trying, like, this is like the third iterative of the idea, because we have like a couple of ideas and talking to different representatives. We just keep improving and like taking pieces from different ideas and put them together. It, it took a little while, but we tried to aim to like have a strategic mind where we implement this for like a longer term than just a certain cer certain single project. Mm. So it took a while, but I think we came up with a some yeah. reasonable good solution. <laughs> well, yeah. that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. But have you been sitting together or? As no, different? no. Unfortunately, due to the Corona, yeah. like we are in different cities in Sweden. I'm uh. born in Lithuania, actually. So mostly was online through like uh, Zoom and Teams and other programs for meeting. But how so was that? How was that been? How was work smoothly? 
anyhow? Yeah, yeah, and it, to a certain extent, in some stuff, it's easier than just like being right. face to face. But when it's come to like the brainstorming and the ideas generation, it's harder, especially when like people need to wait for each other to say something. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it can become a little bit of miscommunication. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting like, okay. situation. Okay, well, thank you so much and congratulations thank again. Thank you and good luck for everyone. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with the runner up. Uh, and here to present uh, this prize is Sven Riddell. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, so being the head uh, of uh, uh, trade and industry at Jan Schäpings Commune, what did you think of this year's case? Oh, I think I. Th this is the third time actually I'm part of the jury mm -hmm. and it's amazing to see all these ideas and the creativity and to be a part of the jury and, and uh, see the connection between all the students and the municipality city of Jönköping of course that's really great. Mm. So I like this mix you know the city and students in a, in a, in a good combination. Yeah. Mm. Okay so let's continue. Which team will receive the second prize and 40,000 kroners? Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm excited even if I know the outcome. <laughs> uh, first of all then, the nomination. Um, the idea picks up on IKEA's goal to go beyond business with clear impact on the surrounding social fabric by connecting demand and supply. And the winner is... First runner-up. Awarded for the second time, team number 11, <laughs> IKEA Connect. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Gosh, you have so much money now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what did you think of this year's challenge? Was it difficult? Yes, it yes, was, yes, yes, it was. It was such a broad question, so you could like think of hundred million things, and yeah. like it was hard to start with one thing, and then you realize that okay, but this thing can just yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like hard. Yeah, yeah but even Jarker, the dean, thought it was hard. So, yeah. <laughs> but you did a, an amazing <laughs> job, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and good work to all the teams. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did your team find it stressful? Uh, yes. We yeah. yeah. went home at uh, eight. eight. <laughs> oh. In the morning, I guess? Yes. <laughs> okay, so a real 24 hour case. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, but we thank you. Challenge, uh, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but thank you and congratulations again. Yes. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> and now it is finally time. To <laughs> so, it is finally time to introduce Kristina Diemele Ström, Supply Sustainability Manager at IKEA Supply AG, live from Basel, Switzerland. Here to introduce this year's winning team. Hi, Kristina. Hi. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hi. It's so great to, to be with you all and see these uh, these fantastic teams. What it, it? I mean, we had really a big challenge to to come up with a uh, with these uh, nomin these winners, and uh, now I will say then who is uh, the number one. Yes. And what uh, have, I would like what, to say? I mean, we, we, yeah. Yeah. What have been your thoughts about this challenge? Uh, well, I, I say, I mean, it's, it's a pity because we give the challenge. So I'm only here this one year, both Jerke and, and Sven say, yeah, they've been here three years, five years. <laughs> so I assume the challenge also next year, so I can be part. <laughs> no, but it's been fantastic. And I think to hear also, um, in such short time, what you managed to come up with, very relevant things for IKEA, actually. And in some of these things, we have been maybe into tapping into those ideas ourselves. And you managed to do this in 24 hours. So I have... Uh, a lot of respect for, for, for the knowledge that you have shown and that you actually managed to put it together. Mm. So I'm very impressed by that. And this is innovation. Yeah. And I think sometimes we think innovation is always some kind of high-tech new product, but innovation in thought and actually in, in the new ways of doing business is, uh, I think, what we need to all of us think about all the time. How do we innovate and make better what we already do today? Okay, but now we, we cannot wait anymore. Uh, which is the winning team of the Jibs Entrepreneurship Challenge 2021? Okay, here comes the motivation first for the winner. 
So the winner has uh, managed to create a holistic approach that includes all the relevant stakeholders in a future supply chain. Taking the perspective of the people that would benefit from the idea is a truly a win-win solution. Including elements of a yearly competition is a novel touch that spices things up. So, the winner is team number... Number, so I say right one now, number five, team Ness. <laughs> Fantastic work! <laughs> That's real happiness, yes! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> but it was a great idea! Yeah. How did you even come up with this? Oh my god! <laughs> so, we're all from different parts of Asia and Africa and, and, and like the insights that each of us can give about this is like very useful because we all, we all come from these areas and we know what's happening there. So that was so good. Oh my God. I <laughs> so to like expand what, what, um, what she was saying, like with, with, with the challenge, we, we noticed that what IKEA is actually doing is, is actually giving back to the community. So yeah. it was better that we develop an idea that it's more realistic and it can actually be practicalized, especially from the regions that we are coming from. So, I mean, we, we did more research, we went deep, and at the same time, we, want, we wanted IKEA to also benefit us as, as an organization. So it's supposed to be a social entrepreneurship and a social business connecting together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any idea what to do with the prize money of 60000 I mean, oh, we haven't decided it yet. <laughs> but, but, you know, yeah. but I was thinking, in the spirit of social entrepreneurship, we should definitely give a little bit yeah. away for yeah. charity. Yeah, um, currently. Yeah, a little bit for charity, for sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Currently, um, a friend of mine um, runs an NGO. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to donate some of this money to her because she helps with this social entrepreneurship thing, like craft and all those things. So this is like... A, a good win for me. I'm going to support her with yeah. the program that she's currently doing back in Africa. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah so wonderful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you so much <laughs> and congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. So happy. <laughs> we have now come to an end of this live stream and this year's e challenge. And um, Yarke, do you mind coming again? How would you sum this up? Oh, um, <laughs> it's a lot of emotions. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> as I said before, this is this is uh, I'm always amazed. This is actually one of the one of my favorite events of the year. Although we do a lot of uh, entrepreneurship activities uh, at Jibs, uh, we try almost in every course to combine theory and practice. Mm. Uh, but this, you know, in, the, in this kind of setting, when it's really short time, uh, big pressure and also some kind of uh, rewards uh, in the end, it, it, it gives an extra di dimension to it. Uh, so I'm really happy with, uh, you know, um, the event as such as well, where we had to adapt to uh, the current situation in yeah, the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think it worked fine. Mm. Um, you could really see the uh, the commitment and enthusiasm among the uh, uh, participating yes, teams, really. <laughs> and also the happiness when yeah. uh, when winning. So uh, I'm really happy with the, with the event. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like, uh, also like to take this opportunity to uh, to thank uh, participating teams, uh, not only those of you who made it to the final, but the, uh, all teams. I think you did a tremendous job. Mm. Uh, I'd like to thank you, the organizing uh, team at JSA. I'd like to thank Jonas Dahlqvist, who is the project manager at Gibbs, and of course my colleagues in the in the jury um, for for uh, contributing mm. uh, with such enthusiasm and uh, engagement. Mm. And then I'd also like to remind those of you who follow this live stream that. Uh, Tomorrow is the last day uh, for applying to, to Jibs if you want to take the opportunity to participate in the Entrepreneurship Challenge next year. 
you may uh, apply to one of our programs. Application closes tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yes, what an evening oh. and uh, thank you to all the contestants and for your fantastic work and mm. congratulations to all of the winners. <laughs> and thank you, IKEA. And we would mm -hmm. also really like to thank the marketing department here at GU uh, for all your help and you and us as well. So thank you so much. Yeah. And we would also like to say a huge thank you to the amazing Entrepreneurship Academy team. Robban, Flora and Malin for the wonderful feed and graphics. Lucas, Rebecca, Elna and Anna for the planning and logistics of the event. And Hanna, Emma and Jenny for the creating the astonishing goodie bags for our contestants this year. You are truly amazing. And thanks to all of you who have been watching. Yes, so see you next year. Bye! Bye. <laughs>